Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple released iOS security response 16.5.1a to the public today. This is available around the world at the exact same time for everyone and is on the iPhone 8, 8 plus all the way up to the 14 pro and 14 pro max or all iOS 16 supported devices. Now, if you're on iOS 16.6 or iOS 17 betas, you won't have this as you're on a newer version. As you can see, this came in at a fairly small 2.8 megabytes on the 14 Pro Max, and it fixes security updates. So we'll take a look at that in a moment, and we'll get it installed on the iPad as it installs very quickly. I'll put in my passcode, and we'll wait for it to install. It reboots the device, and then it's installed. If we go to our settings, go to General, then About, under our iOS version here, you can see we have both. So once you've installed this, you'll see it says this update includes improvements and bug fixes for your iPhone, for 16.5.1, but we can remove the security response. So if it's causing any issues later on, we can remove it, which is always nice. I'd love to see something similar for the regular version. Now, as far as what's included in this security response, if we go to Apple's security website, you can see more about the rapid security response here and it just tells you what it is. But if we go over to their security releases, scroll down, you'll see rapid security response. I'll link this in the description if you wanna look at it. It's also available for macOS Ventura 13.4.1. As you can see, as we scroll down here, it says it has a WebKit fix. So this isn't going to be major features or bug fixes. This is going to be security updates only. And you'll see it says impact was processing web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. They fixed this with the issue was addressed with improved checks and an anonymous researcher tipped them off to this update. So this is something they've fixed, they've patched the device, and this should not affect performance or battery life in any way. So this is something that's going to take a little bit, and you'll see here it wants me to restart the iPhone or the iPad already. We'll hit restart now. It'll verify, and once it's restarted, it's installed. So it should not impact the battery in any way as far as using up more battery power or impact performance. It should not be any different as that's part of the main update. This is just a security patch. Now, Apple also released a bunch of other updates today. iOS 16.6 beta 5, iPad OS 16.6 beta 5 and many other betas as well as Mac OS betas. However, they did not release iOS 17 public beta one yet. You can sign up for it on Apple's iOS sign up page. So if we go to apple.com slash beta or beta.apple.com, you can see you can actually sign up for it as it's coming soon, but it's not yet available. So if you're on the public version of iOS 16.5.1, you'll have this rapid security response. And I would highly recommend you install this as it patches that major bug that could have been exploited. So definitely get that installed. It'll fix that issue. It shouldn't affect it in any way, but if it does, you can just uninstall it, which is always really nice. So that's great that you can actually get that uninstalled if it's causing an issue, but typically they don't seem to cause many issues, if at all. I have seen a few in the past where it does. Let's see if this turns back on and it's already rebooted asking for my password. So very fast install, no hesitation here to install this on your main device and let me know how it's going for you. If you've installed this or maybe you're running iOS 17 betas, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.